In ancient times, unexplored regions on maps would often be given fearsome legends like Here Be Dragons. Unknowns were frightening, and it gave some comfort to at least be able to label the unknown. Hypothesized dragons seemed a good enough explanation for what would otherwise be ungraspable. With a made-up concept and a few words, the unknown becomes simple and satisfying. Those ancient cartographers would have felt quite at home today. De facto practice among most people is still to give satisfying labels to quantify and conveniently package the unknown. When faced with a phenomenon for which one does not personally know a rational explanation, like dreaming of your uncle the night before he dies, it's much easier to accept a simple explanation like psychic connection than to grasp the complexities of cognitive phenomena, confirmation bias, and the law of large numbers. Here be dragons is so much easier. The vast majority of the population accepts dragons, or their logical equivalents, as natural components of our world that should be taken for granted. Let's have a look at some modern day dragons. There's something to be said for listening to the body as opposed to sort of imposing medical information on what you expect your, the body to do. I do believe in ghosts. I would go see them for all the way from a cold to um, a cancer. I, I mean, I believe, I really believe in, in, um, in healing other than our conventional medicine that we have here. 9-11, uh, I think, was, a, a, it was an attack on our own people by our own government. I'm, I'm a real superstitious person, and I do believe in not stepping on the cracks, and when a black cat runs out in front of your car, I will stop and turn around and go the other way. A great deal of research goes into the development of, of many pharmaceuticals, and I think that the primary uh, research they do is how to, how to gain the greatest profits. I think that, that we have the ability to sort of sense and feel um, sort of energy movements. Detox tea, uh, it tastes really good and uh, yeah, according to the label uh, it, it's supposed to uh, rid your body of impurities uh, and it seems to work. You know, you, you drink it and your sweat smells terrible. I have. I've had craniosacral um, you know, therapy where you, they you're, you're not, the energy from the fingers is, go, goes into your um, head, it's around your head. And I think that organic foods are often grown uh, by people who care about uh, their bodies and about the earth. Uh, and I, I think that a lot of that is, is, um, is embedded in the food. And uh, you can taste it. In a way, you can sense the love that was put into it. I mean, I sort of, I sort of believe in in, a, in, a, in an additional dimension. Homeopathic medicine is, is the same as, as uh, you know, it's, it's, a, it's a watered down version of a uh, uh, of, of combination of organic foods and, and seeking out spiritual truth.
My name is Brian Dunning. I have a free weekly audio podcast on the internet called Skeptoid at Skeptoid.com dedicated to furthering knowledge by exposing the widespread pseudosciences that infect popular culture. Each week I focus on one topic that you've been hearing about in the news, an urban legend, a useless alternative medicine scheme, a conspiracy theory, or whatever the latest supernatural phenomenon is. But you can only reach so many people with a podcast, and I believe that this material is important. So I decided to make this short film to reach a much broader audience and provide this general introduction to critical analysis of pop phenomena. Other people have made films to distribute on the internet, of course, but more often than not, they're used to spread paranoid conspiracy theories or make political statements. And whenever you turn on the television, you find that the science channels have largely turned into paranormal channels. The news reports free energy machines and miraculous crying statues without critique. And daytime talk programs have devolved into promotions for the latest New Age healing book or celebrity-endorsed diet. And that's why I made this film. You'll often hear me use the word pseudoscience. A pseudoscience is an idea that claims to be real, but in fact is not supported by any science or any evidence. Often they'll use scientific sounding language to describe how it works. Usually it's a product that someone's making money from. Most complementary and alternative medical systems are pseudosciences. Psychic powers and astrology and feng shui and telekinesis are all pseudosciences. People on television who pretend to detect ghosts using scientific instruments are practicing pseudoscience. Herbal detoxification is a pseudoscience. Did I just make a whole series of really bold statements? Not really. All I did was point out that these ideas are not supported by any evidence. They have no rational scientific hypotheses behind them and no experimental data indicating that they work. I'm not the one who made bold statements. It's the people promoting these pseudosciences who need to back up their claims.